In the vast silence of space, where time stretches and distances defy comprehension, humanity's most advanced eye, the James Webb Space Telescope, quietly scanned the distant reaches of the cosmos. Designed to peer further than any of its predecessors, it was built not only to look back in time but also to answer the questions that have haunted us for centuries. Are we alone? How did it all begin? What lies beyond? Then came the signal. Faint, repetitive, geometrically elegant. At first, it seemed like a glitch, a simple data aberration. But the pattern repeated itself with stunning precision, too perfect to dismiss as noise, too structured to belong to nature as we understood it. It followed an exact prime number sequence, not just any sequence, but one theorized on Earth decades ago in obscurity, the lemur prime spiral. On Earth, the lemur prime spiral was a visual mapping of prime numbers in a spiral layout. While mathematicians admired its beauty, no one expected it to become relevant in astrophysics, much less in the decoding of extraterrestrial signals. Yet, as the Webb team reanalyzed the spatial distortions from a distant region near the Horologium constellation, they noticed that the gravitational lensing, the electromagnetic pulses, and even the voids between galaxies seemed to echo this spiral form. It was as though someone, or something, had etched a mathematical fingerprint across the cosmos. And it didn't end there. Within this anomaly, light behaved abnormally. Stars seemed to twist slightly off their natural axes, not through any gravitational force, but as if responding to an invisible choreography. Time, too, appeared warped. Galaxies that should have been billions of years apart appeared. Synced, connected like dancers following the cosmic rhythm dictated by this mathematical spiral. Dr. Kira Mendez, a leading theoretical astrophysicist, led the investigation. She had spent her life modeling prime-based symmetry in quantum fields, a niche discipline often dismissed. But this discovery thrust her work into the global spotlight. In hushed tones at global conferences and in secured data rooms, researchers began calling the anomaly, the signature, it was structured, predictable, intelligent. We may not be looking at natural physics anymore, Kira whispered during a midnight briefing. This could be engineered, but engineered by whom? Or worse, for what purpose? What if this wasn't a random galactic event? What if this signature spiral, this lemur prime distortion, was a message? A marker? A breadcrumb trail left behind? Some in the team believed it might be a Rosetta Stone, a universal constant embedded across space to signal intelligent origin. Others were far more cautious. If it truly was a signature, then it implied authorship, something, somewhere, capable of manipulating the very fabric of spacetime. Further deep field scans of the region showed something even more disturbing. Within the spiral's core was not a star, black hole, or nebula, but a void. Not just an absence of light, but an absence of everything. A zero point. An unexplainable nothingness where even quantum particles seemed to vanish. Light entering that space did not bend. It disappeared. This, null zone, became a point of obsession. Every known law of physics broke down within it. And still, the prime-based intervals, like silent beats of a drum, persisted all around. Back on Earth, as data poured in, scientists and mathematicians scrambled to understand. Prime numbers are the building blocks of arithmetic, indivisible, elemental. In nature, they appear in sunflower spirals, insect population cycles, and even quantum mechanics. But never had a cosmic structure adhered to them so rigidly. The anomaly, it seemed, was repeating these prime intervals across vast scales, between galaxy clusters, across radio wave frequencies, even within gravitational anomalies. This couldn't be natural coincidence. This was design. As governments were quietly briefed, tensions rose globally. The possibility of non-human intelligence embedded into the very structure of space-time had moved from science fiction into the realm of scientific speculation. Then came the breakthrough. A graduate student at the University of Tokyo noticed that when the spiral's prime intervals were translated into base 12 notation and plotted against cosmic microwave background noise, they formed a 3D lattice. 
When visualized, this lattice resembled circuitry, not random noise, but the architecture of something akin to a computational grid, built into the universe itself. What if the universe was not only alive, but computational? What if this lemur prime signature was a form of cosmic software? Immediately, this sparked debate among the brightest minds of the age. Was the universe running on a code? Was this anomaly a debugging tool, a patch, or perhaps, an upgrade? In ancient mythologies, humanity looked to the stars and imagined gods. Now, we looked again, and perhaps found their fingerprints. Not every scientist was convinced. Detractors argued that the anomaly could still be a rare but natural alignment, a coincidence of math and gravity. But each passing month brought more evidence. Webb's continued scans showed the signature propagating, slowly expanding like a pulse. Not just sitting in the cosmos, but spreading. A second, fainter spiral was discovered, mirroring the original, in the opposite quadrant of the sky. Then a third. This wasn't just a signature anymore. It was a network. Each node adhered to the lemur prime intervals. Each radiated strange electromagnetic harmonics, frequencies that, when translated into sound, produced a harmony eerily reminiscent of chords. Some believed we were listening to the architecture of reality itself. Others believed we were listening to a message. But messages imply senders. And that possibility terrified many. Philosophers began comparing the spiral to ancient sacred geometries, the golden ratio, the Fibonacci sequence, the flower of life. Ancient civilizations had drawn spirals into cave walls, onto stone tablets, and into pyramids. Could this pattern have been seen before? Were we recognizing something deeply embedded not only in the stars but in our own collective unconscious? Panic began to brew beneath the surface. Religious groups claimed the anomaly as divine proof. Conspiracy theorists insisted it was the return of ancient builders. Some governments, fearing mass hysteria, restricted parts of the web data. And yet, leaks found their way online, sparking debates, documentaries, and even cults. Meanwhile, the anomaly grew louder, its signal clearer. And then something changed. For the first time, the spiral's intervals shifted. The prime pattern held, but the gaps between them shortened, like a countdown. A cosmic timer was ticking. But toward what? Scientists ran simulations. The spiral's core was changing, collapsing inward at an accelerating rate. Not into a black hole, but into a data-dense structure, like a hard drive rewriting itself. Then, a pulse. Webb's instruments briefly shut down overloaded by a burst of data from the core. It wasn't radiation or a gravitational shock. It was information. Compressed into light. Encoded in that light, researchers found something astonishing, a blueprint. It resembled DNA. But not for any known organism. Not even for anything alive. It was a code that described a self-building structure, a machine made of light and magnetism designed to anchor itself into space-time. If built, it could function as a translator between universes. But here's the final twist. That same blueprint, almost to the atom, was discovered two years earlier in a cave in Peru, carved into obsidian, carbon dated to 12,000 years ago. Identical, down to the final spiral. No one could explain it. Had this message been sent to Earth before? Had we missed it for millennia? Or had someone on Earth already known it, long before we had the tools to understand it? And then, silence. The anomaly ceased pulsing. The prime intervals stopped shifting. As though it had spoken, and now waited for a response. NASA, the ESA, and other space agencies went into blackout. No further web images were released publicly for weeks. Rumors swirled. Some claimed the signal contained coordinates. Others believed it was an invitation. Or a warning. But one fact remained undeniable. The lemur prime spiral was not a mistake. It was intentional. Intelligent. Ancient. And now, it was awake. Where we go from here is uncertain. Do we respond? Do we investigate deeper? 
Or do we back away, knowing that some doors, once opened, can never be closed? The cosmos has whispered back. It's up to us to decide if we should whisper in return.